Demonic Knowledge is a brand new rune for Warlocks in Phase 2 of Season of Discovery, and it is just a massive improvement to your damage, increasing your spell power by the stamina and intellect of your demon. This is just a massive increase to your own stats, and I don't see why anyone would not take this, I guess maybe if you're sacrificing your demon for a buff. To kick off this rune, you have to kill all of the Dark Riders around the world and loot the relics that they've been hiding from the Dalaran agents. You have to head to the Deadwind Pass. This is found between Duskwood and Swamp of Sorrows in the Eastern Kingdoms. Head to the eastern side of it, loop down the path a little bit, and then make your way back up into this Dalaran camp. This Dalaran agent is going to give you a relic, Eridan's Sigil. This is going to allow you to reveal the Dark Riders from around the world. Now you're going to have to hunt each of these down. These are level 40 elite creatures that are quite powerful. So you're going to want to gather up a group of at least two members that are 38 to 40, and then whoever else you feel like bringing along to grab each of these different pieces. To finish this rune, what you actually need is the seven Dalaran relics. Each of these dark riders is holding onto one of the relics. So let's show you where each of these riders are at and which relics you can get. So first off is the curious Dalaran relic. To get that, it's actually in Deadwind Pass. In Northern Deadwind Pass, by the little creek, you can head down a ramp, and this is where one of the Dark Riders can spawn. You're going to get a buff called Dark Presence, and when you do, you can activate that trinket that was given to you by the Dalaran agent to make the Dark Rider spawn. Now be careful, in your group, make sure that you don't all use the relic, because each person that does is going to spawn a Dark Rider, and they do take a group to take down. Multiple Dark Riders is almost a guaranteed wipe. Our next relic is an Eastern Swamp of Sorrows. At this little point along this particular island here, to the east of the Fallow Sanctuary. This guy drops the odd Dalaran relic. Same deal, wait until you get that buff, and then use your trinket to spawn the Dark Rider. Next up on the list is the Glittering Dalaran relic. To get this one, you're gonna have to head to Duskwood. In Raven Hill Cemetery, just northeast of Raven Hill and southeast of the cemetery, there is a set of trees. Just hang out in this area until you get that debuff. To get the Slippery Dalaran Relic, we're going to head all the way up to the Badlands. In the southern section of the Badlands, you have this big mesa, and to the northwest of the mesa is where this guy can spawn at, somewhere around Camp Buff. Next on the list is the Whirring Dalaran Relic. To get this one, head northeastern kingdoms into Arathi Highlands. East of Refuge Point, Past the farmstead, you're going to find the spawn location of this rider just by the trees here in Arathi Highlands. The heavy Dalaran relic is next. Head to Kalimdor, to Ratchet, and then head west just south of the crossroads. You'll find this rider just chilling by this tree. Our final one is the creepy Dalaran relic. This one can be found in Desolus. South of Nigel's Point, between the two road sets, you're going to be able to hunt down and find this final Dark Rider to pick up your last relic. And now we're going to have to head all the way back to Deadwind Pass. With each of the relics in hand, you head back to the Deadwind Pass and you get back to your Dalaran agent. Here they'll have Hello? quests for you for each of the different relics that you managed to pick up. See you later. Once you've handed in all of the different relics, you're able to get the Service to Dalaran quest, which will give you this supply bag and one gold. In the supply bag, you get your appropriate rune for your class. I hope this guide helped you find all the Dark Riders to get your specialty rune for your class in Season of Discovery Phase 2. I'm Zesty Freshman Saza Games, and we'll catch you guys next time.